During the final months of the Korean War, news began to filter out from the Soviet bloc alleging the use of various mind control techniques on American prisoners of war. To counter this perceived threat, on April 13, 1953, the Central Intelligence Agency approved the creation of Project MK Ultra, which was directed to conduct its own research into mind control and other experimental fields. To support this effort, several facilities were constructed across the United States, but the greatest and most unexpected success would occur at the Hawkins National Laboratory. Named for the nearby town of Hawkins, Indiana, the laboratory was placed under the administration of Dr. Martin Brenner, who oversaw the use of various drugs and other chemicals, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, isolation, verbal abuse, and other forms of psychological torture on human subjects, including civilian volunteers. Many of these test subjects were completely unaware of the potential dangers of the experiments and were held against their will once testing began. One such subject, college student Terry Ives, was unknowingly pregnant while undergoing the experiments, and when her daughter showed signs of being born with various psychokinetic abilities, Dr. Brenner ordered that she be seized for study. The lab covered up the kidnapping, saying Miss Ives had suffered a miscarriage and she was later released from the facility. After a string of unsuccessful lawsuits against Hawkins National Laboratory demanding information and the release of her supposed kidnapped daughter, Terry Ives fell into a largely catatonic state. Meanwhile, her daughter, renamed Eleven, was raised within the laboratory and subjected to a battery of tests to determine the nature and limits of her abilities. A sensory deprivation tank was used to enhance her psychic powers, allowing her to enter an inner mental void through which she could reach out and observe other people and events, namely Soviet agents operating on American soil. During one such session, Eleven unwittingly encountered a creature from an alternate reality or dimension that existed in parallel to their own. Dr. Brenner ordered the experiment repeated and encouraged Eleven to contact the creature. The results were catastrophic. The encounter created a rift between the two realities, manifesting as a type of tear cracking open the wall of the sensory deprivation room. In the ensuing chaos, the creature entered the facility, killing a scientist while Eleven managed to escape. Following the creation of the rift, Hawkins National Laboratory expanded its efforts, simultaneously searching for Eleven, investigating the dimension on the other side of the rift, and covering up its effects on the nearby town of Hawkins. This included the execution of witnesses and faking the death of a local boy, believed to have either been killed or abducted by the creature. In many of these efforts, the laboratory operated under the guise of Hawkins Power and Light, a local utility company. Eleven was eventually located in Hawkins Middle School, resulting in the death of several agents, including potentially Dr. Brenner, the death of the creature, and the disappearance of Eleven, seemingly back into the alternate dimension. While the incident revealed the true nature of Hawkins National Laboratory to several nearby residents as well as local law enforcement, the silence of those involved was obtained through either coercion or other means. Secrecy remains a matter of vital importance to the laboratory, especially as the lingering effects of the incident on the nearby town are investigated and the rift deep within the facility continues to slowly expand. The Templin Institute investigates nations, organizations, and factions from alternate worlds and realities. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Do you have a suggestion for a future episode? Let us know by leaving a comment.